Sometimes the thickness tool just fails because of the way parts are created. This is a common thing in FreeCAD and during this video you will see one of these moments and also a practice that saves time in modeling. If this video is helpful for you, consider donating to the channel through the coi file link in the description of this video. Thank you and uh, let's go to the video. The first thing that you need to do is to create a new document. To do that, just click on this icon and then change your paint to part design. And as you can see, we're on the part design workbench now. Let's go to our model. Analyzing this model, we can see that we can start the modeling process creating a simple box. To create a simple box, we have two ways. The first way is creating a sketch and then use the pad tool to extrude the sketch. And the second way is using a primitive box. Let's try the first way. Just create a new sketch, select XY plane for this sketch. And then go to sketch drums and from here select centered rectangle and draw this rectangle geometry here in the center point and then use the constraint distance tool to constrain the dimensions of this rectangle for example this rectangle will be eight millimeters by 120 millimeters and now skip two times to leave this sketch and then use the pad tool to create an extrusion of the sketch and the length here must be 35 millimeters and as you can see now we have this box now let's try the second way so go to the model tip and delete this pad here and also this sketch and then go to these tools here click here and from this drop down select active box click here and just zoom in and the first thing that you need to do with this box here is to set a plane for this box select xy plane and now that you have a plane we can set the dimensions of this box for example the length will be 80 and the width will be 120 and the height will be 45 millimeters and now just press home but as you can see if we change to the top view we can see that this box here is not in the mid plane Let's suppose that we need this box in the mid plane. To do that, we need to scroll down, go to attachment offset and change the placement of this box here. For example, in the X duration, we'll set 4 millimeters, the half of 80. And in the Y duration, sorry, here must be minus 40. And in the Y duration, we'll set minus 6 millimeters. Okay, and now just press home and let's change to the right view. Okay, let's suppose that we need this part here and the mid plane here, y axis. To do that, we go to the z duration and what we do, we set minus 35 divided by 2 millimeters. And now we have this as you can see. Now scroll up and click OK. And now just press home and as you can see, we have the same box as in the first way. Okay, the next thing to do is to create these fillets here. Let's do that. Okay, now click Ctrl and select all edges that we need. And select fillet tool. And now change the range to 8 millimeters and click OK. And as you can see, we have this. Now the next step is to create this thickness here and this box. So what do you do? We need to select this face here and then go to thickness tool. As you can see, nothing happens here. Even if we change the thickness to 2.25 and make thickness inwards. Okay, nothing happens here. And if we click OK, we got this input arrow. Okay, maybe this is because we created this box using a primitive okay so close this and cancel this operation and then what you do we undo these all operations so we click here and now here and we have this so next we'll repeat the same process we'll create fillets hold control and select all edges that we need and select fillet tool again set 8 millimeters and press home now select this face here and now thickness tool and as you can see now we have this result here now we have this thickness 
so let's make these inwards and the thickness must be 2.25 millimeters and okay okay now i have this as you can see the next step is to create these pockets here these two pockets to do that we'll create a, a sketch and a space here so how we do that first we need to select this face and then create a sketch in this face and next let's select the external jump tool and extract this and then select slot tool and we we'll draw this first slot here and this line as you can see and next we we'll draw this slot here and the z axis okay next select equal constraints and make this two arcs here equal and also these two lines equal okay now let's hide our constraints just click here in this icon and next what you do we select symmetrical constraint and we make this point this point here and this center point symmetrical okay and also we set these two points here horizontal okay and next what we do we select constraint distance and from this point to this point we set five millimeters and now this line here will set the mission of 40 and now skip two times to leave this sketch and next we create our pocket as you can see we now have this and also we need this pocket here in this side like in this like in this model here to do that we need to change the type to toggle and okay and now as you can see we have this okay and the next step is to create this pocket and also this part here to do that we can first select this face here and create a sketch here to create a pocket create a sketch in this face and the next use centered rectangle and draw this rectangle geometry and next select constraint distance tool for this line here let's add 10 millimeters and these vertical lines at 65 millimeters and now we have one degree of freedom as you can see the next step is to set the distance from this point to this point here so select the region point and now this point here and set 20 millimeters and now skip two times to leave this sketch and create a pocket using this tool here now have this as you can see let's click ok and next before we create this pocket here let's create this part here to do that we zoom in and you need to select this face and create a new sketch in this face okay and now what you do we select external jump tool and extra this edge here and also this edge and next we use polyline tool this tool and we'll draw this geometry here we'll draw this first line in these two points and this line here and this line okay next select constraint symmetrical and make these two endpoints merge to this vertical axis okay and next what you do select these two points here and set vertical and also these two points here vertical and now select parallel constraint and make these two lines here parallel okay now have two degrees of freedom as you can see the next the next step is to set the dimensions the distance so we can select constraint vertical and set the distance from this point to this point here we set five and now constraint distance and set 40 for this line here and skip to 10 to leave this sketch and now select pad tool to create an extrusion so we'll set 10 here no problem click ok and next let's create a fillet here as you can see here select this edge here and then fillet tool change the radius to 20 millimeters and enter and now we have this as you can see now now to create this pocket part and fillet and this side here what you need to do is to use a mirror tool to do that we need to go to the model tip and start the selection from from this pocket and select all these three operations and then select mirror tool this icon and as you can see now we have these two parts here just click ok 
and now we completed this and the next step is to create this fillet here if we change to the right view we can see this fillet here in this edge so what you do we select this edge here and now control select this all four edges and select fillet tool the range here must be 10 millimeters and then true and we have this okay next let's create this small fillet here i think is 0.75 millimeters what you do we select this edge and now control this edge here and also this edge and now we select fillet tool and the radius is 0.75 millimeters and we have this now just click ok and the next step is to create these two these four parts here as you can see the way to do that is to create a sketch in this bottom face here select this bottom face and now create any sketch and next what do you do we select the external jump tool and we extract this edge here so now we have this reference next let's use a slot tool to create this geometry select slot tool and start this here okay like so and now click here to hide this all constraints and next select constraint distance and from this point to this point here we set eight millimeters okay and this line here must be 15 millimeters now we have one degree of freedom let's select constraint diameter and set five millimeters for this slot and now hide these all constraints and and next what we'll do is to mirror this geometry and they said here first you need to select this geometry and next this vertical axis and next we use the symmetry tool click here and as you can see we have this okay next select these two geometers and these horizontal axis and now symmetry and we have this okay the thing now is to constrain these all geometers so what you can do is to select smart call constraint and make these two center points of these two slots merge to this line these vertical axis and now these two center points merge to this vertical axis and now these two center points merge to this horizontal axis and also these two center points merge to this horizontal axis okay now we have this escape and let's see which is the problem here as you can see we need to constrain these two slots here vertical select vertical constraint and make this line vertical and also this line vertical and now skip two times and next use path 2 to make an extrusion and the length here must be 2.5 millimeters but if we change to the front view and zoom in here we can see that we have this small space here and here in this original model change to the front view if we zoom in we can see that we don't have this space as we have here so to fill this space here what you need to do is to set smart to plane this extrusion and then click ok and now we have this with our problems and next let's create this small fillet here in this extrusion i think is 0.5 millimeters select this four face here of these extrusions and now fill it to set 0.5 and enter and now as you can see we have this okay as you can see this is the final model so what can i say is thank you for watching this video and don't forget to watch another videos of this channel and also if you want to support me you can do that just go to the description of this video and you'll find a link to my qualified page thank you for watching i hope to see you and